Hello sailors, this is the Dodgy Kebab from Kebab Gaming and all of us want to get more out of our consoles. Not this much though, this is too much. So here are eight little known PlayStation 4 features. Okay, on the face of things, this seems like quite a stock generic video, but I'm positive everyone watching this will learn something new, even if you do know two or three of them. You know when you're charging your DualShock pad and you see the light bar pulsating? Well, did you know that the light pulse actually means something? It means you're wasting your life staring at a controller. As well as that, it also represents how charged up the pad is. If it's a slow pulse like what you're seeing here, then the battery is still low and needs, needs a lot more charging. If the pulse is quite rapid, then King Kong come, it's almost done. So you're playing a game and it's a bit tricky. So you have the PlayStation 4 internet browser open so you can refer to an online guide. It's so slow to stop your game, then go back to the home screen, then select the browser app and open it each time you want to look at the web page again. It's far quicker to jump between the apps like a browser and a game. Just double tap the PlayStation button on your controller and very quickly jump between any apps you have open. Now, now getting from Prawn Hub back to Project Diva can be quicker than ever, you utter weirdo. Trophies are what makes games great, and games without them now are pointless. I'm not playing this shit. So thank you Retro Achievements for single-handedly making old school games worth it again. So you want to farm out every trophy in the game you're playing, but when you go through the list, some of them are marked as hidden trophies so you don't know what they are. Well, the answer has been right there in front of your face the whole time. Literally. It says right there that you can press square to see the trophy information. Some people watching this were like, yeah I know that, and others will be like, what? What the f- Trophies are basically digital crack, and that's why we can't get enough. Sony is a dealer that cares though, and has included a feature that is easy to miss, but is actually really useful. So when you're looking at a trophy, and you really could do with some help on how to earn it, press the options button, and you'll see an option to search the internet. What this will do is quickly Google search that trophy, and you'll be whisked away to an online guide selection, where you can find just how you're supposed to earn said trophy. PlayStationTrophies.org is one of the better sites to help you with your crack mission. The second screen app for iOS and Android is criminally underused by most games. I first discovered it when trying out the free camera game called The Playroom. The Playroom features some fun mini games that involve the PlayStation 4 camera in one way or another. Here you can see that I've got these little robot dudes running around my front room while I create Da Vinci level artwork to add in as toys for the little robot guys to play with. Games like Metal Gear Solid 5, Grand Theft Auto 5, Fallout 4 and Little Big Planet 3 also supports second screen, although you don't use it to draw cocks with those games. Playing video games with headphones on is much better than having the sound come out of your TV. I'm inclined to agree with you, dodgy kebab. It's more immersive and you hear everything just that much better. So why on earth wouldn't you do it more often? Any old headphones you have will work. You just plug them into the bottom of the pad. So stop piss farting around with sound coming out the TV and hear your games properly. Are you one of the four people that bought a PlayStation Vita? Probably not. But you probably do own a phone. Well, Bluetooth your DualShock 4 to it and download the free PS4 Remote Play app. Now you can play PS4 pretty much anywhere in the world. All you need now is a reason to leave the house. Finally on this list are communities. They may seem utterly pointless at first, but once you explore a little bit deeper, they do have their uses. If you are playing an online game and don't have anyone to play with, you can use them to find people who are playing the same game and arrange a time to play online together. You may be stuck on a game and can't find anything online to help you. Go to the community page for that game and chat to people that are so into that game that they go onto a bulletin board to talk about it. Perhaps you're just really into anime girls and in need of a constant, never-ending stream of questionable images. Like, like, share, subscribe, whatever, do all that stuff. Like, thanks for watching, have a